So this is the final version of the 3D printed compliant truck that I'm going to be attempting. And the previous video I went over some of the complications and limitations of trying to use this compliant mechanism design for a skateboard truck. And in this revision I've tried to design around those limitations and get a good geometry for skating with. So I'm using three spring members in order to have some redundancy. I've moved the axle all the way to one side and instead of it having on the top surface I'm having it on the inside surface so the axle is closer to the pivot axis and I'm still printing the trucks with a zero degree angle on them so the turning angle I'm actually putting into the board and that also gets me a, a drop in the foot platform which gets the riding height of your feet closer to the roll axis of the board. So even with doing all that, uh, there's still a lot of axle offset, but not a ridiculous amount. It's definitely with, within an acceptable range now, but it is on the high end. Uh, probably the bigger problem now is the location of this axle. So right now, the axle, if, if I was to draw a vertical line to the top, it would cross somewhere basically almost touching the bolt holes right there. So that's vertical. And you really want the, the center of the axle to be somewhere closer to the center between the bolt holes for a number of reasons. Uh, but one of them is the fact of how much material there is on this backside here. If I lower the camera down and I lift the board up, you can see it's going to come up and hit the truck on the ground before it hits the tail of the deck. And uh, yes, there's a lot of truck in the way of anything. It does have some funky things going on with it, but the ride geometry should be pretty good. Uh, the one thing is that this, the pivot angles on the front and the back are only about 30 degrees. I meant to press them to 35 degrees, and that would have moved this axle, you know, a little bit closer to acceptable uh, distance between the bolt holes. But yeah, it's only end up being about actually 29 or 28 degrees. So it's not going to be very turny, uh, but aside from that, the geometry should be pretty well rideable now compared to the previous design. And I made sure I didn't miss a fillet on the model so that it shouldn't break now. So all that's left to do is to go out and give it a try, see how it rides. All right, so I printed the truck pretty heavily. It's a lot thicker than the previous version. And I think I'm using about $2 of plastic each truck. So it's uh, pretty overbuilt, or so I thought. But when I step on it, it's definitely got very, very light resistance. So it definitely is not stiff enough to feel entirely reliable. It's, it also doesn't feel like a kingpin truck in that the bushing kind of locks you in flat. It feels a lot more like a truck that's riding on bearings. So like a Roja truck or a, a truck with sphericals in it. You're not feeling a, a base of support like when you're like when you're standing on and compressing a, a bushing. So I think it'll feel a lot better once I'm moving. So let's give that a try. I try to take it really easily so I can take a couple of runs here. So I'm just gonna kind of go straight for this first run.
I was afraid this camera was about to fall off and get caught under there and that would have been nasty. Um, so I jumped off and these shoes just grab the road. And I couldn't lift my feet up quickly enough. So you might think with the way it's set up, with the axle disconnected to the deck and uh, only connected through these springs, that it might act as a really good suspension. And uh, it's not the most mellow, softest ride I've ever had, but it's definitely softer than normal. And this is with some pretty small wheels on there too. Get some big old wheels on there and uh, I think that would help a lot. So even though the resistance is pretty weak on it, once you get moving on it, it does feel pretty stable. And part of that is gonna be because of the low turning angles, but still, it feels pretty good. Uh, it definitely does need a bit more resistance on it though. And I think you'd, if you did that, you'd, you could end up with something pretty interesting. So I'm going to go for one more go right now, and I'm going to try to do some gentle carving. Ooh. So definitely some very gentle carving. I'm not wanting to lean the trucks over too much. The further you articulate, the more likely it is these are going to break. And I don't want to break them until I've given some other people the chance to try this out. Uh, but definitely you have to lean quite a lot to get it to turn because of the low angles. And I'm also trying not to lean it very far. So it's a bit of a, uh, a hard place to be <laughs> to get some good action out of it and also not break it. So I'll give some other people a go and then I'll finish up the video and be back. See you then. Some of your first impressions. <laughs> um, it looks pretty w wonky, wonky <laughs> I guess. Um, the concave and shape of this board is insane. Uh, I guess the truck's really what we're trying though. Yeah. We're trying this thing. Oh yeah, and it'll probably get rail bite. Yeah. <laughs> Especially because you're so low to the ground. Yeah. It feels just like you're walking. It's pretty low to the ground. It's super low to the ground. Uh, so, so something was scraping, would that have been just the rails? Well, you were, it's going to be the rails. Yeah. Okay. Should I try a little harder? Perhaps? Yeah, try a little harder. Let me get down yeah. lower. Oh, <laughs> that was the uh, the rail, so you can see it, the wood. <laughs> oh, it just snapped. See it. All right. Well, clean clean fracture. Yeah. How are you? Yeah, clean fracture too. Fine. <laughs> <laughs> Okay, so it looked like you were pretty hard into a turn when it broke. Yeah, cool. Sweet. It's uh, fulfilled its life. <laughs> it's quick lifespan. 
<laughs> that got destroyed. The uh, I heard one fly all the way over here. There's the break. This is what you don't want to happen. Hmm. Oh. All right. So I think it's time we wrap this project up. Um, I don't plan on making any more revisions of this, but these are the three I've done. The first initial proof of concept, uh, demonstrating they can hold weight, and then trying to build a complete board around it. So when I went and rode it myself, I had the deck a bit too high above the roll axis of the trucks. And then when I, I reset it up and I lowered the board, and I think I had the, the height of the deck a little bit too low, and it was just below the roll axis. So I, I never got that quite right. But once I got the roll axis down and it was no longer too high, it definitely felt a lot better and a lot more comfortable. And, you know, aside from just the weird size and shape of this, um, I think it actually works pretty well. I don't necessarily think it's viable really for a longboard further than just a gimmick. But uh, I think some a place where this might actually work well, and you could have a cross-link truck design, would be for roller skates. So obviously you need to choose a better material than, than you know, and not 3D print it, but you know, using a, ni a nylon or a polypropylene uh, type of material that's a lot more tough and it's not gonna fracture, I think the limitations imposed by the uh, offset axle and the uh, having to build in this angle into it, I think all that works potentially with a roller skate design without having to really um, go out of your way to to make you know a weird platform for it. You know, you, you, you could end up with a traditional, normal looking and feeling. Uh, roller skates. So in addition to that, there's already a truck design out there for roller skates which uses a sort of compliant torsion beam design. And it's put out by a company called Roller Derby. So I think there's there might be room for something like this in, in that space. But again, not necessarily for longboarding. So I don't plan on prototyping and exploring this any further. I'm a little bit tempted, but uh, I think we've grown out of the material. Uh, PETG is just not going to take us any farther. And to get this three-link design printed out of a nylon is just not something my setup is, is up for. But if there's someone out there that has the means to explore that further, I would be really interested to, to see any of that. However, I'm not done with compliant trucks entirely and hopefully I'll get back to them soon. So, there we go. Longboard technology over and out.